Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my Grand Arena and this time we are in the final of the first round. We won our first two games. The last one, we're on, a, we're on the road, we're doing well. SLKR is absolutely helping us out massively already and 5v5 is a lot better than 3v3 was currently. So yeah, we are currently sat at 2,500. Uh, we have won every game obviously, we've been quite good with banners. We're not too far off everyone else that's at the top of the leaderboard at least. So if I go in here, uh, our opponent is the one that we expected. This is the one that when I looked out, everyone in our little uh, in our little group of eight, this is the one that I thought, right, these are probably the ones that we're going to go against anyway. So yeah, they have quite a few relics and an account that's been about a while. So yeah, like you can see here, they have Revan team, clearly. They have a Commander Luke Skywalker team. They have a Bosk team. They got Vader Park Relics. They've got Shark Teeth that they use in their arena with all of the 501st. Quite a few G12s as well, as you can see. They've got a lot more. They've got a substantial amount more than us in terms of like overall roundness of their roster. Their fleets, though, aren't as strong as ours. Um, I don't think many people's fleets will be currently that we're actually coming against. So he has got obviously tie advance. He's got the Hound's Tooth Relict, um, which shouldn't be an issue. Like I always I always get a bit panicky about it, but I find that with using Finalizer, to be fair, the that advantage and hit that that Kylo Ren ship does, it just absolutely wrecks him. So yeah, as you can see, he's got a Chimera and he's got the Executrix and the Endurers, all seven star, all the gear 12 tunes. I'm not too worried though about him. I, I I've got a feeling this is predicting because I've I've checked online and this person hasn't got a profile on SWGOH.gg, but I've got a feeling that endurance will be on defence and all he's got for that really is that Rex ship which is relict. He's got the Umbran. He's got an Ahsoka, but she's only gear eleven and that is it really. Like there's no Anakin, there's no uh the Galactic Republic tank that one which is unmanned. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. But yeah, that's where they're at. So if we go in, there's still a lot of time left and they haven't attacked yet. But I will show you what I've put on defense. So we've actually kept it the same as last time. We've, we've kept that uh, General Grievous at the top. We've kept the CLS lead team up there as well. On the back, we have put in our Grievous again with the same ships. Same type of thing we're doing really. On the bottom, usual one. We've got the Phoenix team and then we've also got SLKR. When I looked at his roster, I was like, there's nothing that he can get. That If I put SLK on defense, I know he can't break it. So that's why he keeps going on there. I'm not going to show you what's in the back wall. Because I feel like if I do, and there's a, some fucking odd chance someone might actually see it, or check me out and find it, and then they'll know that they'll need to push it. Because it's it's trite, basically. Um, but yeah, they've, they've gone very heavy on defense. Like, kind of sandbaggy levels. So they've got their Night Sisters on defense. They've got their Empire on defense. That includes Relic Vader, which I, I don't get why he'd ever have Vader on defense. He's got his Revan team on defense and he's got his Geos on defense. So it's, it is very heavy defensively because the only things that he's actually got for attack now, well, unless they're in the back zone, is he's got his Shark T team and his CLS team and Bounty Hunter. He's only got three teams. And I, in my head, that doesn't compute. It's like, right, well, how are you going to get full clear? But looking at their position anyway... In, in it currently, they're 8,256. I don't think they've made many banners anyway. So I'm assuming that this person just naturally puts their strongest stuff on defense. But we're going to go in anyway. We're going to break the bottom zone first. So I've planned this out a little bit. I'm going to go in with my first order against the Revan team because I think they are strong enough to break through that. They're not very well modded, this team. They're very slow that they've got as well. The Geos, I'm going to go in with uh, Palp, Vader, and probably uh, Tarkin as well, just from some extra debuffs and extra speed. I was a little bit worried in that last episode after what happened. So I'm uh, I'm being a bit more... Uh, I'm a bit more sceptical about using it at the minute. But we will be updating that for the next round. So in the next round of matches after this one, there'll be a big change to this team, and I will go through it then with you. So yeah, we're going to pop in these three. Um, I don't think we need to take in... A, I'm going to keep them on and I'll explain that later because I'm going to try and use them for something else. So yeah, so let's pass around the Force Crush first because of the Palp lead. And then Merciless Massacre so we can take Geo, Bru uh, Geo Spy out of stealth. That way he's got three debuffs. I'm, I think that's enough. 
yeah, it's 197k. He had like 50k health, I think, altogether. Uh, so now we're going to try and put a ability block, and that's worked. So now I'm going to go around to the Sunfac ability block that, and then we're going to put on the next Force Crush on the Geo Soldier. The reason why we do this is because we want the next Culling Blade to hit the Poggle, because the Poggle's got a Dispel, and that Dispel, if it goes off, can Dispel Geo Brood Alpha, which means that he can get his full um, his heal off or bring back the uh, Brute in case that we're taking it out already. So we're going to throw it on him, and then we're going to ability block this, which is fine. So now we're going to hit it again, just because we have to, and then we're going to put stuns out. So we've got a good stun there. And then I'm going to put this on. So the inti in Intimidation Tactics puts on some Dispels, which adds to... And then Remove Turn Meter. And we took a hit there. And then now we're going to put the Shock on, because we're still on Stun, which is annoying. But we can probably take it out in a minute. One more hit. Come on. There we go. That's enough. So now we have the Geo Soldier, the Sunfac, and the Brood Alpha. So we're just going to go all in on the Brood Alpha. Try and get Shock on it. Right, now we've got it anyway. So, another Force Crush, because we get the instant turn straight after. Throw the blade on him. 508,000. Okay, and then we'll get... We lost two banners, I think. But, um, I'm fine with that. 59 is good. And if it had let me tap then, it was being a bit slow. So, yeah, that's the first one done. Uh, this one is the one that I am most worried about. So, I am going in with these. It is all attackers. I've got no tanks for this. So, it can be a little bit sceptical. But before I actually do it, I'll show you these mods. Um, it's, I, I, it, it just seems crazy. 19 speed extra on the Re Jonah Knight Revan. The Yoda isn't even any faster, really. It's like, 26 extra. Bastilla with a speed set on as well with 30. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, this hasn't even got speed investment at all. So I'm hoping just because of the sheer power we can get through with this. Because we should take we should get five turns essentially before they get any. So I am gonna take all them in. I'm gonna probably try and take uh, I need to kill someone off the bat. Do we just go in with Kenobi or do we go in on Yoda? Because he's gonna get an insta turn, isn't he? Just gonna go in on Kenobi. Oh my god, it's tanky. And that's what I was worried about. Right, take that take that off. That's all right. Okay, right, pass this over to him. Right, he's weak. So I'm going to try and take out the Mace Windu. So here, right, okay. That's taken the Dispel off. Just survive. Just survive. He's killed him. Fucking hell, this is annoying. I knew this would be the problem, team, straight away. Right, I'm going to pass it over to Executrix. Uh, Executrix Fox, sorry. That's one down. That's so... Uh, I might have a clean up for this after. But I need to try and take... I need to try and take at least Yoda out here. Oh, it's so annoying. I knew this would be the team that would fuck us up. I had a feeling that this would be the team. Because we planned it out with all the others. And I, I need so much stronger. I knew I knew that'd be the case. The problem was I didn't have a tank as well, but I suppose Jedi Knight Revan just gets around it. Um Yeah, very frustrating actually, because I don't know if I've got another team to get around that one right now. So I'm gonna probably go for these top zones. Or do I just clear the bottom and then see what we've got? Because the thing is, I I the plan is that we're gonna use my geos on the Night Sisters. And then I had a load of leftover tunes that I was just going to use on that Palt team. But now I'm thinking we just avoid fleets. And we just get the three in down here. But then we're not going to get as many banners now, are we? Because we've we've kind of lost this one. So, right, okay. So, we're going to go in on the top. Let's just go in on the top. Let's not change the plan. Uh, that is correct. Annoying, annoying that we lost that one. I needed something just a little bit stronger. Uh, but it makes me hopeful that he doesn't actually have that much on offense himself. So yeah, um, Geo should be quite easy here. Uh, switch the target over to Talzin. I'm going to pass the turn over to Spy as well. Because I want him to do extra damage. Because that's a kill. And then that's the Plague out. Which is annoying. But we should. That's two deaths, right, okay. I need to get exposers out. 
And then I'm going to go for a big hit on Dakit. And that's an ability block, which is good. Right, let's cleanse everyone there. That's one death. Right, we just need to get in. No. Oh, that's such an annoying... Right, take your time here. Right, we need to take, get the taunt off. That taunt's off. We need to get old, old Daki. Right, she's dead now. We need to get on Talzin. She's dead now. Piss off. And then we need to go back to Zombie. And then we're going to go on Sarge Ventress. Right, so that's out the way. I'm going to taunt there. Just so I can get some more buffs up. Oh, fuck it. Just get over done with 55. Let's just get through it. Uh, so, yeah, that one's cleared. So, this one we literally just have. So, the plan was, and we're going to go in with, I think it was this. Yeah, it was his lead with him, with him, with him, and with him. I don't know if this is enough. We do have speed advantage again. I should have shown you the mods, actually, but the speed advantage is there. Uh, I am going to go for some stuns, though. Come on, that's one. Right, okay. And I, I'm going to taunt. And I'm going to try and stun. Right, so that's their mass stuns out of the way. And I'm going to try and go for another stun. And then I'm going to go for some ability blocks. There we go. So that was the plan. And then the plan is now I'm going to fracture Vader. I'm going to just... We just need to get all in on Vader, really. I'm hoping that I have enough... And then I've got the counters, obviously, with Dooku. So let's get some shock out and stun. Nice. Remove that. Boost me up. And then I'm just going to... We need to get some turns going on him. The offense down is actually really, really annoying. We're good, though, at the minute. Vader isn't... Vader's getting there. And I'm going to pass it back over to Kylo Ren because he's now got no debuffs. Right, that Fracture on Bosk is actually the best one, probably. Just Vader, we can't allow to get out of this. Stun? No, not there, but we can go for the stun now. Yep, nice. Got a lot of potency on our um, on our Dooku. I am going to go for a big hit. Nah, it's not big enough, is it? Right, we're going to go for another Shock and Stun. We've got Stun again, which is good. Go for that AoE. They're coming down slowly. Come on. Bigot. Stun again. He's just just not getting there, is he? Stun. There we go. Go on, Dooku. Get him stunned. Thank you. Stun him as well. Nice. Ah, they put the fracture on him. Right, let's get some ability blocks out of here. God, this is a really annoying fight. This is this is this is what is the problem. I don't know how this has happened, but we've actually lost both. I'm so angry with myself. Why have I done this? Why did I go for that team? Why did I? Why did I not just focus on this that was left? Um, it's really annoying this one. Uh, this is my own fault as well. I need to strengthen up some other parts of this team. Uh, this is what happens like when someone else actually sandbags us uh, with strong defensive teams. Um, they have a good opportunity here, though, that they can actually clear us. And they probably will now, actually, to be fair. And if they do, they do. That is on us. Um, I fucked it up here. I, I can't really go back in because they're just, like my Padme team is just fucking pants. Like, I'll I'll, I'll I'll go in here with Padme, but she's it's just shit. Um, there's no other real way of saying it. And who else do I need for this team? Uh, but Yoda in for fuck it. This team's pants is so shit. I I really don't like it. I need to get more more look because it's just dead. It's just dead. <laughs> um. I haven't even been able to get the um. We need to get a kill off as well because it's been reset. So let's get that up. I it just needs to be at least gear twelve this lot because they're just shit. They're like gear ten, gear eleven, and then I think my um, what's his name is gear eight. My uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, my Kenobi. Look, I, I, it, why is it just no damage, is it? Look, there's the, it's procced at least, but we're not going to be able to get the tin. And it's took Yoda an absolute fucking age to get in here. Take him out now. Wow. Oh, Yoda's out. Look at that. And then dodge, obviously, because why else would it hit? 
And then that's uh, him out. He's made me reevaluate. I need to reevaluate this and get more on offense because my fucking offense clearly isn't strong enough if they're putting gear twelves on defense. Um, we ain't gonna be able to get through. I should have focused on one zone rather than splitting it. I should have just focused on the bottom. Um, it's our fault though. We, I fucked it. I'm an idiot. Um, if we lose this, I deserve to lose it. In all honesty. Uh, they deserve to win it because I've put very light stuff on defense. They should easily get through. If they've got that Shark T team, they should easily get through that uh, Grievous. Um, the CLS, easy. And then them winning one zone means that they've won it. Uh, we didn't even clear a zone in the end. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. And I'm ending this episode because I'm fucking shy. And I've absolutely flopped this one. So, yeah, guys, uh, if you did watch it, I'm really sorry for wasting the last 15 minutes of your time with this absolute horrendous performance. We deserve to lose this, uh, and I'll let you know in the next episode where we actually finished anyway. So, thank you very much for tuning in.